and welcome back this is the weekly gospel countdown my name is amazing for those that are just joining us every time you know how we do it we always bring an artist and they just get to tell us more about their music and how they started so if you are just joining us i am joined by kwanda and on i told you that i was going to be joined by kwanda and she is here kwanda thank you so very much for coming to the studio it's a pleasure <laughs> I, I i think we should do this uh -huh. the precautions that we are taking because the government has set in something so the mm -hmm. new greeting that we're doing is uh is it oh, by, by yes. the foot either okay way. Mm -hmm. the, the other way exactly like <laughs> yeah that's how yeah. we're doing it um thank you for coming uh we would just like you to tell us who you are and of course what you do we know you're a musician but we just want to know apart from music if there's anything else that you're doing okay so uh kwanda is um as a minister of the gospel through music mm -hmm. yes and of course apart from that there are quite a number of things that i do yeah but um basically kwanda is just the minister of the gospel uh, through music yeah of course and uh, i'm um 2019 Quatch Awards nominee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was nominated in two categories and I have a debut album okay. uh, titled Nali Chimfia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then um, I also um, also have a video yeah, uh, titled Nali Chimfia as well. Okay. Yeah. You, you you said you were nominated for the Quatch Awards. Is it yes. 2019? Yes, 2019? So that means that you didn't start doing music just no, like recently no. you started. <laughs> so can you just tell us how the whole journey began and how was the feeling of just being nominated? Okay. So uh, I started singing when I was quite very young. Mm -hmm. I started singing when I was, I think, 10, somewhere there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I've been singing uh, since then. I think before that, I've I've been singing anyway. Yes, I would sing at TBN, I would sing at church, I would sing in concerts. Mm -hmm. Then when Ephraim was just starting in mm -hmm. the copper belt, mm -hmm. yes, um, would sing together. We were just kids, but it would always be at concerts where he would be singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it has been it, it has been quite uh, you know a challenging journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 something that. Uh, it has been okay. It's just been quite a challenging journey, and uh, I, I did, I've, of course, I've recorded an album. Mm -hmm. And then the same album I did record it in 2007. It's just that I, there are quite a number of things that I wanted to add, so I didn't take it to the public. I didn't release it then mm -hmm. until 20, 2015. I had to go back in the studio, and then it was done. 2019, it was released to the public. And yeah. that was the one that was yes, nominated yes, 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 so, yes, the song titled Nani Chimfia is the song that was released as a single in 2019. Um, I can't remember the month really, but uh, it's in 2019, and that's the song that was picked as uh, the song for uh, for nominations. Okay, so yeah. in which category was it? Uh, best gospel song, and there were two categories, mm -hmm. and best. Uh, upcoming gospels i really can't remember but <laughs> okay. yeah there were two categories yeah oh, okay yeah. um you talked about you facing challenges mm -hmm. uh what were these challenges and how did you just rise above these challenges okay you know um when you basically when you intend to follow your heart mm -hmm. it's, it's not really when you intend to follow what you really love doing mm -hmm. sometimes it's not everybody that's going to support you and sometimes it's it's not always that the idea is is, is going to be welcomed by everybody mm -hmm. you know yeah so in itself that is a bit uh, challenging in that uh, sometimes the people that are close to you may not support it and sometimes they may support it so the challenge is here basically um, you know it's that thing where I really 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 love singing and I would be found wanting sometimes I've been in class and I want to go and sing you know mm -hmm. whilst I'm in class of course you know you have to balance you have to to strike a balance exactly but then the thing is um, there are times that I would want to go to the studio and because I'm spending the whole day at the studio so sometimes people close to me wouldn't really appreciate that because they want my company as well they mm -hmm. want me around mm -hmm. my family of course <laughs> yes they want me around so it's that thing where um you have they have to they have to understand or you have to help them understand that this is what i want and this is what i want to do and with time of course everybody gets 
on, on, on track and just follow through with what you're doing. But that in itself is a bit challenging because you have to get everybody to understand that what you're doing is what you want and everybody has to support you. Okay, so how did you um, like manage to... Okay, wh what are some of the lessons that you have learned during this course of the challenges that you are facing? What are some of the things that you have learned in that you would encourage somebody out there who is seated at home and they feel like giving up? What message do you have for them? Uh, you have to be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the actually the biggest lesson that I've learned through this journey, this music journey, is that or if you're pursuing any gift or any talent or anything that you you feel you have to be or to do, you have to learn. You have to be patient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to be patient, and you have to be focused because things will come. You know, mm -hmm. to derail you or to stop you or to actually. Um, take you off the course but you have to be focused and you just have to be patient yeah and you also have to depend on God you have to wait on God you have to always put God first that's what I've learned that God has to be the core he has to be the center of everything that you intend to pursue yeah. okay so do, do you have an album yes I, I, I have an album uh, like I stated, uh, it's entitled Nandi Chimfia. It's, mm. it's my debut album. It's my first album, yeah, which came out in 2019. Yeah. Okay, can you just tell us more about the Nandi Chimfia song and what inspired the Nandi Chimfia song? Mm. Okay, uh, Nandi Chimfia song, um, there's something that I was going through, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I love it when people give their experiences because, you know, somebody yeah, so. will be able to relate. It's not something that you have seen, but you have experienced mm -hmm. it yourself. Mm -hmm. So what is it that you were going through that just made you? Okay. Um, uh, there's a time that I was, there's, I, was really, I was really seeking God mm -hmm. for a job. Mm -hmm. Yes, I really needed a job. So, you know. Apart from a job, there are so many things that people say God, that, that they ask God to come through for them in mm -hmm. those things. Yeah, so the, I was looking at that particular time, I was looking for a job and I really needed a job. It took time to come through, but it, it came through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I was looking for a job, I learned to be patient. I grew in patience and I grew in prayer and I grew in everything, but the job still didn't come. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so but then it's that thing where God himself kept encouraging me that it doesn't matter how the situation looks like, it doesn't matter what what the appearance of the outside is, you have to keep holding on to the word, you have to believe. So I picked well, I picked part of some scriptures mm -hmm. which tells me that I am victorious. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible says that he's given us authority to trample on snakes and scorpions mm -hmm. and to overcome the power of the enemy or the power of the enemy, mm -hmm. you see. And then he also says that with God, everything is possible. You see? So if you believe and you're believing on him, you trust him and, and, and what you want is, is, of course, of course you can want anything, mm -hmm. but not everything can be given. But um, it, it, regard, it, of course, if, if it's something that you want that is not going to be used for the will of God and you're for a child of God, I think that thing won't be given. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so but then uh, it, it's it's that thing where I just needed the job badly and it came through with time, of course not at the, that time that I needed it, mm -hmm. but I continued in prayer and I continued in my faith, I continued in, in, in perseverance. I I, 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 I I literally, okay, that was quite an experience because I stayed without a job for I think three years and and I was qualified. Mm -hmm. I'm still qualified. I'm qualified mm -hmm. for that particular job that I was looking for. I was qualified, but mm -hmm. I just didn't get it. Mm -hmm. I tried all I could, but I couldn't get it. So at that time, I learned that I needed to just wait and depend on God. And that's how come that song came. So it was a song that was encouraging me to find strength within, within myself and to find peace with my God. So it was just merely most of the songs that I have are just conversations between me and God, trying to encourage myself using the word of God between me and God, yeah. So, um, who did you work with on this album? Uh, on the album I've worked with uh, Ephraim, mm -hmm. yeah, he's written one song on my project and I also worked with Damiano Manafumu. Mm -hmm. Then on this song, which is Nali Chimfia, I worked with Mark Futfu, yeah, Mark Futfu featured on this song, yeah, and um, 
and I've also worked with Ben Mini. Ben Mini uh, is is part of a team or is part of the the recording studio that I use. Yes, he worked on my songs with Ben Blazer. By the way, my songs were done at Ben Blazer Studios. Okay. Yes, and my video was done by um, Reason Media. Mosmag. His name is Mosmag, but the company is called Reason Media. He's the one that did the video. Yeah. So. Basically, those are the people that I've worked with. And then the quite a number of people that I worked with as I was trying to shoot the video. It, I was shooting the video in the night. Uh -huh. And it took about, I think, a week was just shooting the video in the night. And the quite a number of people that helped me, um, people like Shalom, uh, Faith, uh, okay, like, there's just quite a number of people that were on board helping me. Yeah, you success. have some connections right there because all the names that you have mentioned, these are people that have been in this industry like for a long time. How easy or how difficult was it to just get them to work with you on this album? Well, <laughs> uh, I think the grace of the Lord, just like the Bible says, the grace of the Lord is sufficient. The grace. <laughs> yes. The grace. <laughs> Guys, the grace. <laughs> yes. So, um, so the thing is, um, uh, as for the other people, like Mike Footfall was brought on board by my producer, Ben mm -hmm. Blazer. He had a very good friend, so he's the one who brought him on board. Mm -hmm. And as for Ephraim, uh, mm -hmm. he, he's my senior, like he's, he's, he's my elderly, he's like a brother. We mm -hmm. come from the same town, mm -hmm. so I knew him from there. Okay. So yeah, he's, he's like a, a brother to me and like a sister. So. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really hard for him to get on board because he's trying to support a sister. Hmm, yeah, and wow. Damiano is a friend. Okay. He has a friend of mine, and he was also he was also just trying to support a sister. So yeah. You really do have some girlfriends. I I I mean I need connections. <laughs> I need connections. I might and, just change my career. Just, yeah, of course, his yes, connections are quite important. Mm -hmm. But um, I think from what I can see. I think it's the grace. It's just God. You know, He just brought those people, these people together for such a time like that. He brought them on board. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think if we would say, Mama, I made it. Because you seem to have like made it. You seem to have it <laughs> all in place. But anyway, uh, let's, let, let's get to know. Since you have worked with all these people, is there anybody that you wish you would work with or yes. that you would want yes. to work with? Yes, yes, yes. yes. But who are those people? I'd love to work with um, the quite a number of people that I'd love to work with. Mm -hmm. But meantime, <laughs> I think I'd want to work with Pompey. Mm -hmm. I'd want to do a song with him and okay. Christine as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are quite a number of people, but at the moment, I think I'd want to work with Christine and Pompey. Okay, so yeah. who, 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 who are your inspiration or he inspires you? I'm inspired by quite a number of people, uh, but mostly. Um, you know, I I grew up listening to Keith Green. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's an artist. I think he's he's late now. Okay. Yeah, he's Keith Green, and I used to listen to a lot of music uh, by him and um, Maranatha. You know those kind of music. Don Moen. Those people just inspired me, and of course Dasha Cobbs. Mm -hmm. You know, there are quite a number of people. Uh, yeah. Maureen Land as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I would listen to her songs and yeah, and yeah, but there are quite a number of people that inspire. Well, I'm also inspired by you. I think I might just change my career and start singing. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Uh, and lastly, um, mm. where can people get your music and do you have any future events that people have to look out for? Yes. I should be launching my album pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I am actually working on some videos. Mm -hmm. that, uh, they're going to be out pretty soon, and then um, my my username or my names on people can actually look for me on Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter, uh, YouTube using Quanda. Okay, Quanda, so maybe you can just Quanda, look into the yeah. camera and emphasize. So, if you want to get hold of me, just search or look for the name Quanda on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter and instagram i go by the name of kwanda then they can get my music from christian voice mm -hmm. or there's a there's a there's a shop at kamala bus stop near uh, a, a big tree mm -hmm. just by the bus stop there 
yeah, the shop is called Nikoshan. They can also get CDs from there. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then they can also buy CDs online. CD Baby, iTunes, Amazon Music, and Shazam. They can get my music from there. It's, it's available online as well. All right, so I'm going to give you an opportunity to introduce your song. It's on the number 10. So just look into the camera and introduce your song. <laughs> okay, so uh, my song is titled Nali Chintia. Yeah, and uh, of course, you know, at such a time like this, everybody needs to be victorious. You know, this corona. What, coronavirus? The, let's just say the COVID-19. <laughs> yeah, yeah, COVID. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we have to declare, you have to declare. My song is titled Nani Chin. <laughs> 